Today we are going to be cooking a bayatine of chicken, sometimes pronounced balatine. Um, it is um, a fantastically easy dish to make um, with chicken, um, and it's a dish that can, you know, that can look really, really complex and fantastic, but actually is very, very simple to make. Uh, we're going to stuff it with some forestier mushrooms um, and some spinach and a little bit of parma ham. But you can really you can add anything that you like. There's a lot of cheeses that you can use to it. Actually, it's fan fantastic with um, a ricotta. Um, but you can put whatever you like in it. Up to you. So we're going to start off with a beautiful breast of chicken, uh, just a regular uh, medium to large sized uh, breast of chicken, and we're going to get a laminated pouch. Now. I have been asked about these before when we were doing a carpaccio video um, and really you can just google um, laminating pouches and you'll find these. If you can't get hold of them, you can quadruple up on uh, cling film, no dramas. Um, you're going to find it nice and easy. So we're going to get a little bit of olive oil just into the laminating pouch um, and we are just going to squoosh that down like so. Though there's no skin on it, inside down, even though there's no skin on it, but you know what I mean. And what we're going to do is we are going to take a really sturdy uh, rolling pin and we are just going to beat this slowly. Never apply too much pressure because it will split. So that's looking about right. And if you have a look there is absolutely no holes in that, and that is perfect. That's as we need it. Okay, so we're gonna place that to one side just for the moment, and we're gonna get some nice foresty air mushrooms, um, and uh, we're gonna give these just a, just a sort of medium chop. Nothing too fine, doesn't really matter. Take the stalks out, you can leave them in. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. So now we're going to take our chicken breast. So what we're going to do firstly is I've got this fantastic prosciutto crudo. Put that on there, peel off second. And then we're going to get some of these leaves in. You can just, if there's a stalk, big stalk, you can just take uh, the stalk off. It doesn't matter much, but oh, look, you know, horses for courses, a high for kais, whatever the plural is. Okay, and now we're gonna get to these beautiful mushrooms, just a few of them. I'm gonna put them in the middle. So you're now gonna gather and turn this, and you're gonna make a nice little parcel, a nice little bail, a nice little bay of tea. So just literally you're gonna roll it up like, like you would anything else that you roll. I've literally had no experience in that. Tuck the edges under slightly. And what you're left with here is this little package. This is your little bale that you are left with. Now you might think, great, how the hell do we cook that? Good question. Here's the answer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some cling film. Just one layer is absolutely fine. And now we're going to take our bayer team and we're going to put it right to the edge with the sides tucked under. Now this is where we start to come back and just lift that and push and push and keep it nice and tight, keep all of the air out. Okay. Just roll and twist, roll and twist, roll, roll. So I'm applying outward pressure and roll it and you get this really nice tight package. Okay, um, so I'm just going to do the ends up like so. Uh, 
And to continue being neat and methodical, we are just gonna just cinch the ends off. And this is now ready for poaching, and it is absolutely going to be fantastic. There's absolutely no need to weigh your bear team down, but it does cook better if you can keep it entirely submerged. Find yourself a good thermometer and keep the water at about 80 degrees. The chicken should cook in approximately 20 minutes, but make sure that it's at least 75 degrees in the center before you take it out. Don't be tempted to slice this like a baguette at a 45 degree angle and trying to be too flash. This is a poached bayatine of chicken. It's absolutely beautiful. You want to be able to see that stuffing. Just slice it straight. This chicken dish goes great with lots of different accompaniments. It would be brilliant with sauté potatoes or Lyonnaise potatoes and some buttered veg, perhaps one evening. But I'm having this as a lunch and I just fancy some warmed puy lentils and a little bit of salad. I put a little bit of shaved beetroot on there just for color. And this is my poached bertine of chicken, stuffed with prosciutto crudo, spinach and forestier mushrooms. It's served here on a bed of puy lentils, topped with a little baby leaf salad and some shaved beetroot. 